Hi everyone and welcome back to Awesome Science with Scarlett and Alina. Alina, we're here with our special <laughs> Halloween episode a few days early. We're going to learn about phosphorescence, which is glowing in the dark. And unfortunately, in the preparation, I had an exciting experiment, which, which was to explode this on camera. But I found it takes approximately 300 or so rubber bands, and it surprised me and blew up on its own. But the premise, uh, Bear is here as well. The premise of this is that the rubber bands created pressure on the outside of the pumpkin and squeezed it so hard that, uh, well, uh, that it pressurized on the inside and then it blew up. Unfortunately, you didn't get to see that, but if you want to try it at home, all I did was cut off a, the top. Oh, that reminds me, Scarlett, you want to speak on safety? You want to speak on safety? All right, so safety especially for this because you have to cut the tops of the pumpkins off. You have to be under the supervision of your parents or an adult. My eyes came off. You want to cut off the top and clean out the inner. So since, unfortunately, we didn't, uh, weren't able to explode this on camera, we're going to improvise, as great scientists do, and uh, we are going to just create a pumpkin volcano with our uh, tried and true besties here, uh, baking soda and vinegar. Okay, so let's get started with our phosphorescence first. So what we got here is... Because I don't see it. You can't see it? Okay, so we got the, you can do this with, the idea is to get glow in the dark paint. And uh, Spirit Halloween was out of paint, so we have these glow in the dark googly eyes instead. We're sticking them on. Do you see this? Like How silly these. How does that look? Like mm -hmm. these. So we have these glow in the dark. And, and you're going to stick them on like Squishy googly me. eyes. And yes, we're going to stick them on like Scarlet and her googly eyes. And I don't know, where did Baron, you took my, okay. So the, having a little brother kind of ruins everything. So what we're going to do here. <laughs> Alright, Scarlet, sit. And put your goggles on. It's getting increasingly chaotic. We're going to shine this UV light in the glow-in-the-dark eyeballs. What? Well, what's happening when something is phosphorescent, it's soaking up the light, kind of like a sponge does with water. Except these... Oh, that's thirsty. That's huge common. So what ha should happen... Girls, are you listening? Yeah. What should happen is then in the dark, so it soaks up this light, and then in the dark it starts to release the light, so it appears like it's glowing. It's kind of hard to tell. Can we turn that light off? Okay, so what's happening is the light is soaking up, or I'm sorry, the little glow-in-the-dark eyes are soaking up the light, and so when we take the light away, should continue to glow, and they do. Do you see a glow? They're glowing. Phosphorescence. My eyeballs are glowing. Okay, so let's make a, let's finish this off with a volcano, a pumpkin volcano. You ready? Wait, you got your goggles on? You do? Okay, we're just gonna... Here it comes. Oh. 
And as the premise for all of it is the acid base reaction, so this is a reminder that the sodium bicarbonate base in the baking soda mixes with the acetic acid in the vinegar. Don't touch it, you don't have gloves on. So it wouldn't hurt your hands, this wouldn't hurt your hands. All right, happy Halloween. You want to say happy Halloween? Happy, happy Halloween. Halloween. Have See you next time. Next Do you want to say anything else, Scarlett? Yes. Have a fun week at Halloween night. Be sure to and like, share, and subscribe. We'll be, have yeah. a little bit and more. We, and we really want some more subscribers to our videos. Please watch our videos. And we'll be back with more experiments, hopefully that are a little bit more successful than they have been. Thank you.